this lovely story is called Florence First Ball. It's written by Claire Friedman and illustrated by Jane Massey and it is a Simon and Schuster book. Florence First Ball. Hello, my name is Florence. I have frizzy fuzz ball here. It's wild, it's thick, it's crazy, and it sticks out everywhere. And there's her frizzy here. I think it looks kind of cute. My little brother's not like me. Ben's hair is neat and flat. We like to eat different foods. Is it because of that? There they are. What do you think? Do you think it's because of the different hair? When I pull on my jumper, Ben laughs. It's so dramatic. My hair is electrifying and it crackles with the static. Have you ever had that happen to you? Putting on a jersey and your hair goes all bzzz. <laughs> well, that's what happens to Florence. It's fun to race down great grassy slopes and feed the fr and feel the fresh wind blowing, but it's not fair with frizzy hair. I can't see where I'm going. The wind is blowing her hair all over the place. We love our cosy cuddle times, but hugs turn very tickly. My nightmare hair flies everywhere. Our faces get all prickly. I searched through family photographs for curls and frizzy fluff, but no one else has hair like mine, except for our dog, Scruff. And there's the dog, Scruff, down there. No matter what, my hair is pain. Oh dear, here she's trying to put it into her um, bathing cap. Ben moans, it's in his way. Your frizz ball always blocks my view and I can't see, he'll say. Oh, that's a bit unkind, isn't it? I'm fed up of my curly hair. Oh, Mum, please, let's go here. And it looks like it's a hair salon because it's these lovely locks. A hairdresser might know a way to make frizz disappear. And there's her little brother there trying to hop up on the chair. <laughs> They smooth and spray and struggle and voila! Oh, look! Now that was a process, wasn't it? Now she's got straight hair. Wow! Is this my hair? but been so shocked to see me that he dives behind the chair. And now it's neat, like all my friends. Oh dear, I'm thinking twice. I like to stand out from the crowd. It made me feel quite nice. Can you tell which one is Florence? Mm. Straight hair has its problems too. 
and mine gave Ben a scare. But worst, he says, I've lost my bounce. I miss my frizzy hair. Oh dear, looks like Florence feels a bit sad. Now, I've got the kind of hair I wanted for so long. I thought that I'd be happier. How could I be so wrong? Hmm. What do you think she might do? She might. But as the rain pours down, Ben shrieks, Your hair is back! Hooray! I love you, Frisball, as you are. And so do I, I say. What happened to Florence's hair? Did it make her feel special when it was straight? Or did you, do you think that when she was herself, she felt very special? I think the latter. It's a very good story. And it teaches us that we need to accept ourselves as we are. Until next time, kaikite.